Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Simon's Daily Rambles. I did clean up a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, from the notebooks here, these are other videos, I mean, um, episodes that I've already done. I still got to do because I didn't want to put out a bunch of uh, crappy videos of like 7 at night and having no daylight and not proper lighting and all that type of stuff. So I'm somewhat of a better situation right now. So we're doing that, and I have all these briefcases full of CDs out of them. We'll start with the top one. Uh, it's about like 400. <laughs> so anyway, there's going to be no, no shortage of music, period. And that's kind of on my iTunes, because I don't think I ever upload everything. So anyway, we're, so today we're doing TV shows. If you stuck around this long, thank you. I need to do a quick little update. So anyway. We're doing The Flash, and actually I'm redoing this video. It's season 3, episode 1. It's called Flashpoint. So we start off with um, Barry um, is trying to ask Iris out, but um, he gets interrupted by the TV news with um, Revival and Kid Flash. So, but he kind of diverts that just for a little bit after that came on the news and still asks her out. And it was awkward as hell, but super funny. But um, uh, amazingly, she said yes. I was like, what? Okay, good job. And then we cut to where um, Barry um, has the reverse Flash cat, um, captive. So basically, he's just feeding him every uh, few days. And it's like, okay, well, anyway. But, so, but the reverse Flash warns him about time and how it can betray him. And then we cut to where um, Alan family time and it's super emotional and super awesome. I actually really like that, the um, scenes that they had together. I thought it was really good. And then we found out that um, Joe is a drunk because he keeps missing time at work and he's kind of like this, <laughs> like boozy and everything. So literally, Barry walks into his house, literally cleans him up, and pops him up at work. You know, he's on super speed. And, um,. Then we have Iris West comes over at the police station to t uh, for Barry and her to go on the date, but West does not approve of it, and he gets very mad at Iris and Barry and everybody. So um, Iris and Barry go Iris and Barry go on a date, and then he starts talking and he starts forgetting um, his memories that he's had in the past. He's starting to forget them a little bit. And then, um, then we find out that uh, there's a kid flash in town, and that person is Wally because Barry tried to save him after their date got interrupted on the walk home because um, Iris is a reporter, so she wanted to go report on it, and Iris' brother, Wally, was fighting for his flash, and Barry was trying to save him using his arms to create a cyclone to soften the blow on the way down. So, he figures out Kid Flash is Wally, and then um, once they are conscious, once Wally is conscious, they go to the, um, his lair, which is not really a lair, it's more like an apartment where Iris and um, Wally are like a brother-sister tag team duo. And you're going to hear my doll in the background, I'm super sorry about that. <laughs> so, basically... Um, they go to the one person that can help them with um, finding out how to get rid of the meta, uh, the evil speedster, and that's Cisco, and in this timeline, he's rich as F. He's super fucking rich. <laughs> really rich. Um, but he's also a douchebag. Like a super duper douchebag. <laughs> and then um, Barry tries to reach Cisco, try to play into his other timeline self, and basically, um, it kind of works, but not really, because Barry then loses more of his memory, so that's not good. And then, um, turns out his memory's gotten overwritten av after he talks to Reverse Flash. Turns out every time he uses speed, a part of his memory accelerates and is forever gone. So, um, then he wanted to talk to Caitlin, so he basically kidnapped her. Kinda, and basically what happened was, uh, she's an eye doctor, so, um, she's like a pediatrician, um, eye doctor. <laughs> so then we have Iris, um, believes, um, then Barry confesses, and then tells him 
what really happened and ours believes him and then you have rival versus flash and kid flash and then the rival hurts wally really bad then it's rival versus flash and then barry's losing even more memories and then the rival creates two tornadoes but barry manages to defuse them after an encouragement from iris and then we have uh, joe shoots the rival before he was about to kill barry and then um, they go they go back to Star Labs to um, see if they can help Wally. And it turns out he's not healing for some weird reason. Because usually um, um, speedsters, they heal super quick. It doesn't take that long from like an injury for them to bounce back. But it turns out Wally is dying. Then Barry says goodbye to his parents with um, Iris. And it's like a really emotional scene because... Well, it is. <laughs> And then Barry is forgetting again, and then uh, Barry lets the Reverse Flash go and kill his mother after the Reverse Flash tells me to kill her. You have to say, Barry, I want you to kill, like, he has to tell Barry to say to him, I want you to kill my mother. And so he has to say that and then goes and does it. Then Barry kisses Iris goodbye, and then Reverse Flash goes back and uh, kills his mother. Then it turns out Barry is back, and the first Flash did something kind of funny because he's like, oh, this is going to be interesting. And Barry's like, what? He's like, oh, you'll find out soon enough. And so he goes back inside and hugs everybody. Then Iris and Joe had a fight and didn't talk because um, Barry asked, like, where's Iris at? He's like, you just lost your mom, so I'm going to let this go, but don't ever mention that again. And then, um, and then someone wakes up alchemy i mean a clarence who was i'm getting ahead of myself and turns out that person is alchemy because it etches it on the board and there you go so um that was a really interesting episode i actually kind of liked it so i'll give this like a plus episode it was pretty good i really really liked everything and the dynamic between like how barry lived apparently this was like for like three or four months or something basically they try to go in real time with the show so um this is like three or four months later after the finale. So um, he's been living with his family and for him to say goodbye again to his entire family is really, really sad and emotional. I really did like that. So um, that's pretty much what I'm doing for this video. I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed the episode. So um, if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, and then subscribe for more stuff because I do a lot. And I'm getting back into the swing of things. So that's awesome. And I'm going to try to post the rest of what I got and watch whatever else I need to watch and all this stuff. So, um, I'm, mm, so I'm trying to figure out how to do stuff. So anyway, I want y'all to have an awesome day and please like, comment, and subscribe like I already said. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye everybody.